Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. I had picked up this little solar panel. Um, one of the, one of those things that pops up on Facebook all the time. You know, it's, it's like buy this cheap and don't pay postage, and it takes four weeks to get here from China. Um, it's a nice little panel. It's only it it you know it's tiny, so. It's kind of a backup backup to sit on the dashboard but my thing is you know it gets hot here in florida it gets real hot here in florida in the summertime and if your vehicle is sitting closed up it gets even hotter inside so i've tried various things i bought one of these actually I bought a couple of these and they're okay but they only work when the sun's hitting directly on on the solar panel I mean directly on and it's it's actually supposed to clip on your hat or whatnot I don't you know it was only a dollar or two not a, not a major big deal and they have fans that clip into USB ports and whatnot for you know five or six dollars you're supposed to plug them into the side of your laptop or whatever um, and I've thought about those but I've got a bunch of these <laughs> you know um, Actually, there's a whole box of them out in the shed. So, uh, what I was thinking, and I, I had, I have a whole bunch of cords, but you know everything getting all tossed around and whatnot with the old Miss, and uh, I have no idea what happened to them. So we're just going to take a pair of snippers here and. Snip me down with some wires. Like so. I got red, black, and yellow. So I'm thinking I just need the black and red. I don't know what the yellow goes for. Maybe it's half speed or something. But now we're going to open this. I, had, I bought this Dollar Tree. So all together, I've got about a dollar tied up in this, if it works. If it doesn't work, i got about a dollar tied up in it. So, <laughs> not a major big deal, right? Uh, let's see, we're going to take this. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut that end off. It's going to leave me just a little bit. Here we go. Uh, now, I need to strip this down a little bit. Will that work? Probably not. Almost. Well, now what do I do? I got a couple of whites and a couple of gray. That doesn't do me much good. Of course, it doesn't help that I'm colorblind and I really don't know what the heck colors I'm looking at. Ugh. Back up here and punt for a minute. Oops. Oopsie, oopsie. Strip that away. Strip that away. Yeah, I probably got old granddad sitting over there in England going, that's not the way you do it. Well, <laughs> it is the way I do it. Not the way you do it. Not the way a lot of people do it. But that's beside the point. So let's see, I think I'm gonna plug this into my power port over here. And then we'll strip down these black and this black and red wire. I'll do the lighter. There we go. Like that. 
Something like that. Now let's see if we get any juice. We'll touch that wire. that wire like that and that wire well that didn't do anything how about that wire it's trying there it goes all right so that's that wire That one didn't do anything. So, just a little bit of power. All right. Doesn't like starting up right now. The fan's been sitting for a long time. Could be why it came out of the computer too. Let it run for a little bit. Let that bearing gets straightened up. I'm gonna clip off these two wires that I'm not using. It's standing, can you see it? Probably not. Clip them off. Try to. There we go. Keep these separated from each other. I don't want them touching. All right, got a little bit of black electrical tape. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's not the way you do it. Well, again. The way I do it, cheap, easy, and brutal. I was actually just talking on, uh, well, not talking, but I was typing on one of the Facebook pages that I'm in about uh, living in a van or, you know, out camping or whatnot, and they were asking about buying, like, a $300 or $200 um, fan. You got to cut, cut a hole in your roof and put it on and, you know, it shuts automatically in the rain. It's got 10 different speeds. And it's, you know, it's the best fan out there for the job. And, yeah, that's cool. It's $200. A minimum $200. They go up to, like, $300 and stuff. And I'm like, no. Uh-uh. I'll go buy a couple of those little oscillating fans. Do you get it, um... You get it at the parts store, they're like 10 bucks. They put two or three of those in the vehicle and let them do their thing. And people are like, oh, but you're buying junk and you get, you, you pay, you know, you get what you pay for. I get a fan that does what I need it to do for 10 bucks. <laughs> Seriously, people, and if the fan gives up to ghost, it was 10 bucks. I'll go buy another one. And if the vehicle, you know, if I'm in an accident or something and I wreck my vehicle and it has to go to the junk junkyard, I could take the fan out or it was 10 bucks. If I got $200 fan stuck, you know, screwed and glued into the roof, I'm out 200 bucks. Uh-uh, not this old man. My mama done raised the fool, but he lives up in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Uh, no, I love you, kid. All right, let's see if this is going to work. Works on that. Let's see if it's going to work. I'm not real sunny out today. It's trying. I 
I think there just ain't enough light. So it may not be a totally viable option. Oh. Plug it into my power pack too. Oh, that'll make a kick butt. <laughs> Heck yeah. Woo. Need the screen or something over it, but I don't really need it going that fast. I just want it to move air a little bit. I need it so it activates on solar too, not this will work all the time. So, anyhow. That's about it. That worked. I thought it would. I mean, it's not not brain science, you know. Not rocket surgery, whatever. This panel just is not strong enough to. Deedle, 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 deedle. Just not enough. Oh well, uh, I'll try it again when it has, oops, excuse me, we'll plug it in over here, let's just let it run for a while. Uh, I'll try it again when it has, when it has more light on it, that may make a difference. Um, I don't know, somebody give me a, give me an idea on how I can control it so that if it's a low energy or whatever that's uh that simple <laughs> because it diodes and electrodes and all those other little things that you have to read colors and solder and um there's my solder gun <laughs> uh, hey i mentioned old granddad uh or granddad is an old man old granddad's a whiskey um Y'all go check him out. He's got a channel. He lives over in England. He tinkers with all kinds of stuff. He he takes uh, thrift store radio controlled cars and puts them in little toy boats. You know, take puts the, the guts in little toy boats and goes out and floats his boat. <laughs> he made a little jet boat not long ago. Took it out to this, this stream and up, up in there in England and. Uh, I'm not real sure where where it is he lives. Somewhere around Bristol or something. Um, it's just super cool. He's got he's got a a uh, a big cargo type boat that has two or three cameras on it. He takes that out in, in the, these big lakes that they have for, for pods. They have for radio controlled boats and whatnot. And it's really cool. You get to look through the. It's like you're riding in the boat. And then he just he does, you know like rubber band cars and and homemade airplanes, uh, radio controlled airplanes, just, just kind of cool stuff. I, I've always I always like looking at his channel and go back and look through it. He's got thousands and thousands of things. So check him out. Uh, anyway. That's that's what this was for today. Uh, I got my I got my fan going. So I don't know what I'm gonna call this. Super easy uh, ventilating fan or something. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? I'll, I'll figure it out when I put it put a link uh, put a title down there, right? So you know what you're coming in to look for. That actually throws a, quite a bit of air. That's pretty cool. Um, Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Wherever it is, y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to check me out on, or if you'd like to share me around on your social media, that would be Fandoculus. If you want to check me out on Facebook, the link will be in the description box, wherever that is on your device. Um, I'm as crazy or more so on Facebook. It just, I don't do a whole lot. I, I post things that come across my feed. Um, but you know, yeah, you're more than welcome to come and hang out with me. 
uh, it's easier to contact me there too um, for the most part so if your loved ones are nearby give them a kiss and a hug if they're not give them a call hit them up on Facebook let them know you're thinking about them we're not promised tomorrow people mother nature has a way of throwing a monkey wrench into everybody's plans you're planning a trip and they, a hurricane comes in or a fire devastates your town, tornado come through. Could be a heavy snowstorm, you know, 20 inches of snow. That's nothing to sneeze about. People having accidents and people losing their lives. You really, you just never know when the last time you're going to see someone is going to be the last time you're going to see them. Just the uh, words of the wise, I guess. I don't know. Keep it in your mind. But I hope I can get to see y'all again. And until I do, I hope you have a fan day. Slunchy, y'all. Bye-bye.